Barzai providing that breakthrough and after that it was Fazal Farooqi. In his fourth over he got Wilburney out and then in his sixth over he came back and got another wicket but it was really good batting from Harry Tector. Kamfer didn't have a very good day today, dropped the catch, came to bat and really didn't make him big. With this partnership, 173 runs for the four wicket. This is the highest for any wicket against Afghanistan for Ireland. They really played brilliantly, played according to the situation, punished the loose balls, hit shots all around the ground. Yes, Lorca Tucker and Harry Tector, two players that know each other very well. They enjoy batting with each other. They complement each other really well. Lorca Tucker has been an exceptional cricketer for Ireland for the last 18 months. Harry Tector had two, maybe three lives, had a little bit of luck, but you need that. If you're going to get a biggie in an ODI, you need a bit of luck along the way. And it was at this stage, Ireland were right in the contest. Harry Tector and Lorca Tucker were taking the game to Afghanistan and then Fazal Haq back into the attack, a little edge, and Lorca Tucker had to depart. This is the moment Harry Tector brought up yet another ODI ton, charging back for a second. A wonderful innings. Catch of the match this. Sub fielder on, charging in, diving, plucking, an inch off the turf. Yeah, that was brilliant from Nangyal Harote. Really a blind uh, Nur Ahmed got his first wicket, and after that, it looked really difficult. Tector tried. Hit a few big shots, but some brilliant bowling towards the depth made sure that Afghanistan win this comprehensively. Fazalak Farooqi and Asmatullah Omar Zai cleaning up the tail and doing the job for Afghanistan at the end. This is how the Centurion Tector fell after making 138 runs. Brilliant innings.